Oh, hello! My name is Mara, and welcome to Books Like Whoa. So, we've got a little haul action for today, a pretty pretty exciting one. I'm excited about a lot of the things that are in this haul. Uh, you will have already seen the wrap-up I did for August by now, um, but I'll just say I'm sorry this is a little later than I'd planned. I had some family things happen and I, I talk a little bit about that in the other video, so also forgive me if I'm a little off or weird in this one. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the books I got this month because I got a lot of things that I'm really excited about. Um, I was in a very celebratory mood for a lot of August uh, because of a new job and kind of uh, some time off and changing circumstances, so uh, I, I tend to celebrate by buying books. <laughs> that is that is my want, so um, I will just dive in because I'm excited to show you guys some of this stuff. So maybe I should just start with my pre-orders that I had from Amazon. Um, both of these were very exciting and uh, very highly rated books. So first first and foremost, the most exciting book that I got this month was Magic Triumphs by Alona Andrews, which was the final book in the Kate Daniels series, though there will be a lot of side series. Uh, so yeah, I read this the day I got it. Uh, I have a live review uh, posted up. It's a little weird for the reasons I alluded to earlier, but, um, but if you want my thoughts, I will have that link somewhere but yeah very excited to get this as a pre-order and then the other pre-order I got was one that um, was on my most anticipated books of the year at the beginning of the year and that was The Cheerleaders by Kara Thomas. I'm not sure if it will be up by the time you are watching this uh, but I do have a yay or nay review on this. Um, I really this was a big hit for me this month so I really like this book um, but yeah so these were both pre-orders and then a book that I also got from Amazon was Orthodoxy by G.K. Chesterton in the hardback. Uh, I had ordered this when it went on massive sale I think like in June or July and part of like the condition of the sale was that it would just ship whenever it came back in stock. It finally did so this also arrived in August. So a new bookstore uh, pick that I had I got this from Parnassus. Uh, Parnassus Books here in Nashville. It's one of our great uh, independent bookstores. Um, on the uh, day that I got my new job offer and put in notice at my old job, I went and celebrated by buying this book, which is Am I There Yet? Uh, the Loop de Loop Zigzagging Journey to Adulthood by Mary Andrew. She is one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. She has a really unique sort of like doodle style of drawing that she uses like for autobiography basically or memoir it's it's a very uh she uses the that medium very effectively i think um but anyway it's a it's a signed copy and i i read this for the booktubeathon and, and really enjoyed it uh and then a couple of used bookstore picks from my uh local nashville used bookstore my favorite bookstore used bookstore is in my hometown but nashville has a pretty good one that's near me uh and that was another installment in my um agatha christie i think this is the bantam classics uh fake leather edition that I'm slowly collecting. This is The Murder at the Vicarage. And then at the um, that same bookstore I picked up a graphic novel autobiography of Agatha Christie just because I thought this was so just so cute. So um, it was like five bucks and I, I wanted it. Okay speaking of Agatha Christie I did uh, we'll move into my online orders uh, my like book depository and book outlet orders. So I got both of these from book depository. Um, there have been this is the facsimile edition of Appointment with Death and Lord Edgeware Dies which are two of my favorite Poirot novels. Um, as I I have had the inclination or whatever. I have been slowly uh, accumulating some of these facsimile editions. I don't as of right now have plans to get the entirety of uh, her work in this facsimile edition, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I may change my mind at some point because yeah, these I really I do enjoy and I think they're beautiful. But yeah, I got these from Book Depository. And then the other things I got from Book Depository were uh, additions to my Penguin Clothbound Classics collection that I am expanding. Um, I actually have more on the way. I was in a very celebratory mood, okay? And so I really, I definitely kind of went to town and, and ordered a lot of these. Um, so four of these are from Book Depository, so I'll start with those. I got The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James. I've never read this uh, from Henry James, but I have read, oh goodness, is it uh, Daisy Miller, I think? Um, I read that from him and enjoyed it, uh, as well as The Turning of the Screw, which I believe is by him. Um, so yeah, I will get to this at some point. This is like one of his kind of 
you know, main works um, that I've heard a lot about. I got The Odyssey by Homer. I absolutely love the pattern on this one. Isn't that beautiful? Um, yeah, I, I really, I like this one a lot. I do have another edition of uh, The Iliad and Odyssey bound together, which I'll also keep, but I just couldn't resist how beautiful these are. I got Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Uh, Lawrence. Chatterley, Chatterley, depends, I guess, on how French you're feeling. Uh, yeah, I read the spicy parts of these uh, in middle school because I went to a fundamentalist school and that was one of the only uh, spicy things I guess we had available to us in our library. Um, but I've never read the whole thing, so we'll we'll see. I will get to this eventually. I will be curious now as sort of like a seasoned romance reader how this kind of fits into that tradition. And then Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Yeah, um, I've read The Brothers Karamazov and really loved it. Um, I've also read The Double and The Gambler and really like those as well. I, I mean, I have good luck with Dostoevsky, so I love sort of graphic quality of this cover and um, yeah I'm really I'm pumped to get to this someday it is another kind of big honkin book so it'll be a little bit of a time commitment but someday we'll get to it and then um, a couple of uh, uh, the littler the kind of uh, what are they the pocket cloth bound classics uh, came up on sale on Amazon uh, in the month of August so I went ahead and snapped those up I got the confessions by Augustine for I think like nine dollars which is a very good price for this and yeah this is uh, I've, I've taught sections of this before when I was a graduate teaching assistant and um, yeah I definitely have a lot of affection for this. It's essentially the first memoir in the uh, kind of form that we recognize today so definitely a good one to have around. And then I also got The Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx. Uh, I've never read this in its entirety. I've read sections of it. Again, I, I had to teach sections of it, but um, yeah, someday I, you know, when I'm feeling particularly bullshit, I guess uh, I will dive in and read the entirety of this. Okay, and then a few things from Book Outlet, and I actually am pretty sure there's more of these, but I can't figure out what I did with them, so they may show up next next month if I realize what that is. The first is The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. So this is like a big honkin' book that I've heard a lot of really good things about and um, it was I think like four bucks on book outlets so I was like yeah you know what like I'd like to get to this at some point. Um, I gathered that this is non uh, basic bitch medieval fantasy so I always like that. Um, I'm interested in finding I'm trying to find more immersive fantasy that I'll be interested in. Um, I did a whole video on kind of knowing your fantasy tropes and I realized like yeah immersive fantasy tends to be kind of the hardest sell for me um, so I've been actively trying to find ones that I think might work a little bit better for me so I think I, I'm interested to see if this will work out. Another immersive fantasy The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. Um, I've heard Sam from uh, Thoughts on Tomes talk about this book really fondly and again I think it was like two bucks or something so I was like okay I'll, I'll give this a shot. Um, I also have a different series from her uh, that I have on my TBR that I've not read yet. <laughs> But, uh, you know, that's just the life of a book hoarder, is it not? More books than we will ever have time to read. Um, but anyway, so I've got this uh, on the docket to get to at some point. Then I have uh, Pytra the Latvian by Georges Simeon. This is the first in the Inspector Magritte. Magret? Magret? I'm not sure exactly how that is usually pronounced. Um, the first in that series, and I had um, one of my uh, subscribers uh, mention this series um, as a kind of golden age of detective fiction type uh, pick uh, from, from France. I think it was, um, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm not going to say your name right, but um, uh, Baul, B-A-U-L. I remember um, you mentioning that this was a, was a good series to try if you like golden age of detective fiction, and I think it was only a few bucks on Book Outlet, and so yeah, at some point, you know, I'm always trying to kind of expand my repertoire in that particular sort of type of mystery. Um, so yeah, I'm intrigued to see how I do with this um, for a non-English uh, setting type uh, book in that era. So yeah, I'm curious to get to this at some point. And then finally, another Simone St. James. Ever since I read The Broken Girls earlier this year, I've been slowly acquiring um, her backlist, including The Haunting of Maddie Claire. Um, and yeah, this is one of the ones that was most recommended to me. Um, I think that before The Broken Girls, this might have been her most popular book. So yeah, curious to get to this at some point. I think I may have like four or five of her backlist now on my TBR. Um, so yeah, maybe in October I'll tuck in with uh, a nice little uh, batch of Simone St. James and, and see how I do. So anyway, um, that was my little book haul for August. Uh, I'm pretty happy with everything I got. I do have more things on the way <laughs> um, from Book Depository and some other places, so there'll definitely be more books to talk about in September. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I'm sorry if my energy's a little off. I think I probably will be for a couple of weeks and um, 
that's just how it is. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social medias if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below. I think that will do it. Hope you're having a really lovely day and I will just talk to you soon. Bye.